All right, folks. Welcome to another one of Sports Focus. I'm your host, John McNeil. Welcome back again, Mr. McIntosh. Thank you very much, Thank McNeil. Thank you for coming in, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, can I have my hand back? Okay, you can take it back. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, now, something that just blew my mind, uh, Wisconsin, in the state of Wisconsin, the great state of the Green Bay Packers. Now, local high school, the uh, Raka, Aka Waka, 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 Okanawa, I'm going to say Waka Flocka Raccoons, and the Wisconsin Lutheran Vikings. That was good how you corrected Thank me. You. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Now, the uh, the Waka Flocka Raccoons, <laughs> they score 82 points. And the, the Lutheran Vikings go at 84. No defense. No defense. Teams are going back and forth. And this is the kicker. What really made me want to mention this, in the first quarter, the score was 8 to 7. Ooh, really? Yes. So, uh... That must have been one hell of a game. And if that was fantasy football in that high school, that must have been something. Man. Woo. The receivers, running back, oh, quarterback. Everybody. Unbelievable. Kicker. But the coaches must have been pretty upset. They were like, you kids ain't play no defense whatsoever. Now, let's get right to uh, some bad news. Mr. Tate George has been found guilty. What you want me to say? A four felony counts of federal wire fraud. Running a Ponzi scheme. This what happened. UConn's to very own. Hit the buzzer beater. That's what he's known for. And, he, and stealing from people. He hit the buzzer beater now. Yeah, he get the buzzer now. Boom. You are going to the to the lockup, the penitentiary, the joint. Yeah, you going out. upstate. He'd be out four and a half. But you, hey, he's facing six to nine years. Four and a half, he'd be out. But they took him right to the jail. They slapped <laughs> the cuffs off because they thought he was a flight risk. Oh. Because they figured he got some money stashed somewhere. Up so, in the Ponzi scheme. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they, they locked his butt up like immediately. Oh, they, they wasn't even know. playing. They wasn't going to give him a chance. Wasn't going to give him no shot. They wasn't going to walk a flock of her. They, huh? wasn't, they was like, walk a flock of your butt right to the jail cell, okay. son. I got you. That's exactly what happened. Okay. On other UConn news, Coach P, Paul, is... Pascalelli. There you go. He has been let go. Yes. Oh, everybody happy about that, huh? Yeah. I mean, uh, no no love for Coach P? No. No? Oh, man. Do you have any love for him? Well, okay, let's go to the next subject. All right, let's keep it on. He is gone. He has been let go after the loss to Buffalo. Uh, any what's the what was the score on that game? You know, we got blown out. Oh man, terrible, terrible. Well, no, the, you know, AD he's had a long. He used to be the AD at Buffalo. He he found that eight hour drive from Buffalo back to Connecticut, and oh. he and he thought about it. Then he said, Monday morning at eight thirty, you gotta go. Bye. You gotta go. Bye. But it's not bad, Lane Kiffin. As soon as he got off the plane, he told me, man. Lane, what now? Did he get on the plane they or got he got the, off the plane? They got off the plane. That it's, is something. They went, they played their game, and they got slaughtered by Arizona. Was it Arizona State? Yes, it was. 62 to 41, and they, you're out. No, this is, an, well, that is something. Yeah. That is something. All right, now let's move on to the NFL Week 5, people. Uh First of all, this, I want to get your thoughts so far. It's four games in. What's your thoughts of the NFL season so far? Different. It's not the regular teams that used to be. It's some of the regular teams, but you have your upstart team that's coming up now. It's, it's very good. I like yeah. it. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, the NFC East sucks. Yes, big time. Uh, they are putrid in any kind of word you can come up with. That that means bad. I'm uh, not wearing none of my uniform. I, I uh, keep it hidden. Eagles, Giants, Redskins, and Cowboys, they all suck. But we'll get into that as we go through hey, these games. One good thing. Y'all in first place. Yay! Two and two. We're just average. Awesome. Go to hell, Jeff. Um, <laughs> let's start off with the them Patriots and the Bengals. 
They lost Will and Fulfer. Cincinnati now. They lost Fol Will, F Will Fulfer. That's a huge loss. But huge they, loss. But they played well against Atlanta. They did. I, I give it to Pats. You give it to the Pats. I'm gonna say Cincinnati. Cincinnati's gonna keep it rolling. Yeah. They are gonna keep it rolling. Andy, Andy Dalton now. Keep it rolling. But the Patriots, I think they're spent. I think they, they had that good Sunday night game, and they showed people, you know, we can go on the road and take care of business, and they did that. It's just like how the Patriots do. But they got they got that good cornerback, Tlaib, so they're going to shut down. You are correct, Tlaib sir. Tlaib was just. That's, yeah, he was dominating. I don't see why. I know, they let, I know he should have been on Julio just about. He should have stuck yeah. to Julio instead of with old uh, Roddy exactly. White. Yeah, true. But uh, Patriots, Patriots are the Patriots. Let's go with the Lions and the Packers. NFC North showdown in the Packers of Green Bay's building. Still warm weather. I'll give it to the Lions. Whoa! He's going with the Lions. I'm sure somebody's um, a little upset about that one. I'm but sorry, but I have to go. You got to go with the Lions. I'm going to keep it, uh, keep it real. I'm taking the Packers on this one. They're going to put the Lions down, put them at 3-2, and two, and the Packers come up. Packer defense been been still suspected. They haven't been like the Packer defense about well, a few years I tell you back. what, I, I think um, Aaron Rodgers, who is the best quarterback in the NFL at this current time, uh, and I, you know, I know I love my Cowboys, but I just that's the way I feel about it. The man has the best arm. In the NFL, and it's the receiver's fault that they don't catch the ball. And it's the lineman's fault they not block him. This guy is he's great. Okay. He's great. That's okay. all that's all I have to say about him. Okay. So you're taking the Lions and I'm taking the Packers. Okay. Seahawks and Colts. Seahawks. Seahawks and I'm going Seahawks too. I can't see this team losing not to the Colts. I know it's in Indianapolis, but they haven't established that home dominance thing yet. Ravens and Dolphins. Hmm. Damn Miami. What the what the uh, uh oh? But Dolphins. Don't don't start with me. Oh, oh good God. Oh. I'm going oh. with the Ravens in Miami. No, they, they rush for like what? 15 yards in, in against. Okay, they had a short week. I understand that. Yep. But the Dolphins are upset from that loss. Both of these teams is upset. You say go with the home team, huh? Yeah, I go with the home team. All right, I'm taking the Ravens in that one. Saints and Bears. Ooh. Didn't Bears lose? They lost to Detroit. Ooh, they playing up in Chicago. They playing in Chicago and ain't cold yet, so the Saints, you know, they ain't got to worry about the weather. I'm taking the Bears. I am too. Yes. Taking the pairs. Uh Eagles and them G Men. I'm taking the Giants my own stuff. I'm not crazy. Uh I understand on that one. The Giants, uh it's like, you know, they're due. But the Eagles, every time they go to the Giants, oh something always happens. Both of these teams are basically the same crappy team. So uh don't talk mess. Something is something is telling me to take the Eagles, but I can't. I gotta go with the Giants. I have to go with the Giants on this one, and they will get their first victory, and continue the misery of the Eagles. Now, Kansas City versus Tennessee. Jake Locker is out for like a month. They're going with Rick, uh, Fitzpatrick. No uh, noodle arm. Noodle oh. noodle arm. Okay. Seems like he in pain. Chiefs. Oh man, Chiefs. Al Smith, he showed what he did to the I'm, Giants. I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking the Titans. I think they're gonna keep it, keep it going. You think the defense gonna hold again? And only reason why I'm taking opposite of you is for you, give you the opportunity to catch up to me in the standings of overall, which will Whatever. be revealed uh, week, the halfway point of the season. Whatever. I'm taking uh, the Titans. Mm -hmm. The snoozer of the of the day, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, London, England's team, oh, by the way, <laughs> against the St. Louis Rams. 
I don't know what team is. They both suck. Exactly. They, they both, both suck. suck. Um, I'm, let's go with the home team. I mean. I'm taking the Jaguars. They deserve a victory. See, this is why he always loses in the head-to-head -head battles. Just um, don't tell me to take Jaguars. I'm, take I'm, I'm taking the Rams. They're at home. They are maybe. But they're in England. Huh? They're in England. Not yet. If Amir Khan, the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, okay, gets his I'll way. Take, I'll take Jaguars. All right, I'm taking the Rams. Carolina and. Who's, uh, who's, who's quarterback? Uh, for the Jags? Yeah. I think it's Henny. Chad Henny. Or are they going back to Gabbard? Oh, no, I'm taking, I'll switch. No, 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 All right. <laughs> Carolina versus. <laughs> <laughs> Go get, get Carolina me. versus the Arizona Cardinals. Um, Carolina. I'm taking Arizona Cardinals. Uh, no. Chargers and the Raiders. Now, just a quick note. If anybody want to, you're a fan of the San Diego or the Raiders, this game will be played Sunday night at like 1130 because of the baseball game. The Oakland Athletics are there in the playoffs, and they both share the field. So you're not going to see it at 425. You're going to see it at 1130 at night. So if anybody, San Diego. So, so this is kind of cool. After the Sunday night game, you stay watching football basically from – one all the way until the next day. Yeah, so true. this is going to be uh, fun for the football Just junkies. It's all night. It's going to be all night. It's starting at eleven thirty. This is oh, good God. I'm not. So watching that's going to be ending at two seven o'clock. Yeah. Be up. And that game, by the way, uh, from what I understand, will be broadcast on the NFL Network. So if you have that, you can watch your Raiders or your Chargers. And uh, who you got? Chargers. I'm taking the Chargers as well. The Texans and the 49ers, this is the Sunday nighter. Ooh. Texans coming off the loss. 49ers coming off the victory. Uh, Texans. I, you like the Texans? I like the Texans. They had a players only meeting. Uh, they want to get that straightened out. They don't need to be talking amongst themselves. They need to just talk to one person. Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub. I love Matt Schaub because he's good. He's like Phillip Rivers. He's good for a pick six yes. at the Wrong time. Uh, I like the 49ers in this game for the simple fact they are at home and they are going to pound the ball running. Monday night are Jets and Falcons. Falcons. Falcons, I'm going to take the Falcons as well. Jets do have a good defense. Okay, let's, get to, let's get to the game. We're going to get to my game, the Broncos and the Dallas Cowboys. Who are you going to pick? Sir... As I reach over to my buddy. Uh, you got enough time. Go ahead. Okay. I'll let you have your spill. First of all, who you got? You know who I'm taking. You taking uh, the Cowboys. Okay. No, I'm not taking no Cowboys. <laughs> you know I'm not taking okay, no yeah, Cowboys. You taking the, the, the Denver team. Yeah. The Denver Broncos. I'm going to take the Denver Broncos in this game. Thank you. And y'all know this is my team. This is my squad. But from what they have shown me as a Dallas Cowboy fan is terrible. And like I, I said in all the other shows, up and down, up and down. They are just this up and down team that don't know how to be consistent. Peyton Manning is going to have a field day. Hey, wait a minute. They, they're going to be down twice. Yeah? Yeah, because Peyton going to, oof. Now, as I read uh, an article about their cornerback, Amore uh, Claiborne, Mm -hmm. Number 24, he said that with each pass that the team catches on him, he loses his confidence. Ooh. So um, Peyton should have at least a minimum of 450 yards and at least nine Wait, to you eight touchdowns. <laughs> Folks, I know you have something to say on that, but you know what? We got to go. And that's all the time I have wow. for you. I had to smack him out of here. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh, for coming through again. <laughs> and folks...